joining us and now we can start sewing this together and um, yes so on the very first stitch of the armhole we get from both sides and we uh, pass the yarn through we're gonna make a slip stitch and we will chain three and in the very beginning of every row we will get the first stitch from both sides so yes one stitch on this side and one stitch on the other side just pay like attention on this part to saw this like straight and yes chain three and a slip stitch on the first stitch of every row on both sides and we are gonna keep like that until the end and we will repeat that on the other side too yes guys so this is how the saw looks inside and outside it's like this i think it's the best finishing uh when you want to sew crochet and it's very not tight so yes i really like this finishing uh to sew so i make both sides and now so I turn already, it's with the right side, outside. And now we will make the same finishing that we did uh, around the neck. We will make around the armhole on both sides, okay? So one row of double crochet and one row of the little popcorns. Um, and yes guys it's like this now almost ready the top part it's basically ready we're gonna keep this aside and now we will start um, the little thread that will be our straps and will be around our neck to adjust the top and basically gonna put all the top part together so we will make a chain with 160 centimeters so yes here we have um, our thread ready and now i will show you guys how we will attach this to our garment so the top part this is the front oh yes now i put the front <laughs> facing us and actually like both parts are the same so it doesn't matter but yes so we will on the last row of v stitches not the bubble stitch the just the v stitches we will wave uh, this thread so under and and over uh, this double crochet uh, row and we will make to um, the end of this part and then we will start the back part and then the other side back part and then we go back to the other side of the front part so yes here we finish the first part of the front and we will 
um, just keep the same thing on the back part so yes just wave this thread and then we will make as I said to you on the other side of the back and then we go back in the front and then now here I finish uh, to waving this thread and now we can adjust our top part and we can make uh, the front bow you can like make a knot uh, the way you prefer and yeah it's just here showing this will be the straps I really like um, this pattern because I think it fits really well and it's beautiful on the body so yes I'm tidying here a bow and I'm gonna make now uh, a finishing for uh, the end of this thread so I like tassels so you can check my Antonietta top um, video I teach how I make my tassels there but here I'm gonna just show very quick I basically um, make like with our yarn uh, 20 between 20 and 30 uh, wraps of the yarn on a cardboard and yes I attach it uh, the yarn and then I cut and yes yeah, just very simple like you can check the other video if you want or but I will show you here uh, another um, finishing the tail that I think it's very cute and makes like total difference <laughs> So with our tassels ready, we will um, make now a little uh, flower in crochet. So we make the magic ring and we will put six uh, single crochets inside this ring. And yes, we will not tie this ring like to the end because after I will show you guys so just tie that a little bit so six single crochets and then we can close the circle with a uh, slip stitch <laughs> So uh, I chain one and we make um, three single crochets on the same stitch. And then we make a slip stitch on the following um, stitch and again three single crochets. So yes, the petals will be basically uh, six petals of three uh three single crochets so we make this and in the very end we will make a slip stitch and we can cut the yarn
here guys we finish our little flower and it's very dedicated we will hide this uh we will wave this end and we can hide between the single crochets and we can cut it and yes just keep the the magic ring um uh and um like like that don't tie too much and yes now we can get our tassel and with uh the right side facing us of the flower we will pass the the um, the tassel through this little flower and yes when you get to the middle of the tassel you can tie the magic ring and you can put the yarn through uh, the middle of the tassel and we can cut on the same size of our tassel so we have tied really well then we can put the yarn through the middle <laughs> So here guys we finish our tassels, we make two of course for both um, ends and here I'm attaching, it's really simple, I just make like a little knot and then I hide all the threads between the middle of our tassel. If you want like to check in details you can check my uh, Antonieta top uh, video in the there I explain like step by step but here I'm just touching uh, in the both ends so yes guys our top part it's officially ready 100% and now we can start our waist and yes just the bottom part of our top so yes on the lateral uh, seam I I attach my yarn and we will make a row of single crochets and yes just one row of single crochet around our hemline <laughs> So yes, uh, I finished the first row with um, a slip stitch and now we will chain three and chain one more. We're gonna skip one stitch and then we will make a double crochet. Then we chain one, we skip one and then a double crochet on the next one. So this will form these little squares and after I will show you guys, we will need that to wave uh, a thread to adjust the waist. And then after finishing this row, we will make another row of single. <laughs> Yes, we finish our waist and now we can start um, the last stitch that will be for the bottom part of, of our top. So we will chain three and then on the same stitch we will make two double crochets. This is half of our uh, little fun stitch. So we will chain one and then we will count five stitches. On the sixth, we will make a little fun. So it's five double crochets on the same stitches. 
and then uh yes finishing and five we chain one and then we count five stitches on the sixth we will make another fun and we keep like that to the end of the row <laughs> So guys, we will finish with two double crochets to complete our first fun stitch. And yes, with a slip stitch, we end this row and then we will chain one, a single crochet on the same stitch. So it's on the middle of this fun stitch. And then we chain three and a slip stitch on the same stitch. So it will be a little popcorn on top of every uh, fun stitch. So we chain two now, and then we make a single crochet between the two fans, and then chain two, and then a single crochet on top of this little shell, and we chain three, and a slip stitch on the same stitch, chain two, single crochet between the two shells, and then chain two, single crochet on top of the of the shell, so shell, so we get the very middle stitch of the shell, and then we make a little popcorn on top of the shell, we chain two, single crochet, and we keep like that till the end of this row. So here guys, we are almost finishing. We made a single crochet between the two shells. And now instead of made two, uh, chains we will make finishing with um a double crochet so our yarn will start on on top of this uh single crochet okay and then we make a slip stitch on this uh single crochet we chain three we turn our work again and then we start with the um shell or fun stitch uh, so yes yeah, just like the way we start the the last one we make we chain three and two uh double crochets on the same stitch chain one and another shell so the shells will be on top of every single crochet so between two shells of uh, the previous row okay and yes guys this is basically the stitch um, we keep like that for eight repetitions and on mine it's about nine and a half centimeters so here again just finishing the fun stitch row we finish with two double crochets to complete the first shell and with a slip stitch we finish the row and yes chain one a single crochet and then chain three and a slip stitch to make this little popcorn 
and yes just continue like the second row chain two single crochet chain two single crochet on top of the shell and then we make the popcorn so finishing here again the the row of the popcorn stitch we finish with a double crochet and yes guys as i said before we will keep like that for eight repetitions of this uh, fun stitch and on mine uh, my garment it's about nine and a half centimeters and we will finish with a row of the popcorn stitch and yes here uh, it's almost ready it's so beautiful I'm so happy with the result of this um, pattern but just uh, the last detail will make uh, 140 centimeters uh, thread just chain stitch for the waist so we can adjust the waist and just like we did around the neck we will wave uh, this thread around the waist so yes I'm gonna keep uh, like the knot um, on the side because I think it's already too much information in uh, on the front so yes we wave all around the waist and we can tie it and I'm gonna make uh, little tassels not like the front one just very little ones um, to attach in the ends of this thread so here guys our garment is ready our top is beautiful i hope you really have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it please leave a comment share and please please subscribe to my channel this way you help me to grow and i will make a tutorial every week thank you very much see you next week